Happy birthday. You don't have to sing to yourself. Oh. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Jack. Happy birthday to you. Thanks, Mom. What Jack wanted to do on his birthday is play Prodigy. Bye. And then he had to wait a while for me because I was writing a song. But what do we have for breakfast, Jack? Um, we had tuna pancakes for lunch. We're going to have spinach and cheese ravioli. Mm -hmm. Yum, yum, yum. Here we are enjoying butternut squash soup and some mm -hmm. fresh bread. Hello. Yummy. Hello. 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 Baseballs. Cool. Let's see what's in your other package. Okay. Mom, get the other ball. Oh. Out. This is from Great Grandma Follett, Jack. Mom, a and baseballs. That's that? super cool. Oh, yeah. Now we need to get one for Daddy so we can play, play catch. Wait, those are for Jack. Oh, this is. Ah! I've been shot. Let's see. Yep. Uh, I need to wash the sand lot. <laughs> Should we wash the sand lot with you? We need to play it. That's cool. So what you have to do when you wear these is you have to break it in. Mom, I'm going to get this other ball out. Ew. <laughs> okay, I'm not sure who this is from. Thank you, Amazon, for wrapping our presents. Whoever wraps our presents does a remarkable job. Grandma Cheryl. Oh, what? <gasps> <Yeah. laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Jack. Happy birthday. Day to you. <laughs> make a wish. Don't throw it. Oh, you didn't make it. Keep blowing. Keep blowing. <laughs> Woo! <-hoo! laughs> okay. What is your full name? John Anthony Hunter. How old are you today? Eight. Eight years old. Going on how old? Nine. Oh, you mean you're not going on 30? <laughs> okay. What is your favorite color? Turquoise. Turquoise. What's your favorite holiday? That's hard to decide. It's either between Christmas or Halloween. Okay. Christmas. Okay. What do you want to be when you grow up? I want to 
want to be a police officer. Mm. If you could have a superpower, what would it be? Um, I could camouflage anything. Ooh, okay. Who's your best friend? That's hard to decide. Top three. Top three friend. Benjamin, Jack Heyer, and... Ryan. Okay. Um, what's your favorite animal? Penguins. Penguins. Cute, cute, cute. <laughs> <laughs> if you could eat a meal with anyone, who would you want to eat a meal with? Benjamin. Benjamin. Who's your favorite scripture hero? Alma the Younger. Alma the Younger. What's your favorite pastime? Past? Pastime, so playing Pokemon, riding your bike. What's something you like to do in your spare time? What's your favorite thing to do? Play baseball. Play baseball. As of today, that's our new favorite pastime. Do you know we love you? Yeah. Happy birthday. Thanks. Happy birthday. Look at those cute freckles. And I'm going to grow more in the summer. You're naked. We're gonna do a movie night for Jack's birthday. For Jack's birthday, Nicky Nicks. A new, very beautifully wrapped present that was just dropped off on our porch. <laughs> or scissors? Will you grab some scissors from up there? What do you think it is? If you could guess. What do you think it is? I have one more question for you too. It well, has guess. batteries in it. Okay. That's what I know. Okay. I have one more question for your your um, yearly question. Okay. If you had a million dollars, what would you spend it on? What would you spend a million dollars on? Beyblades, Pokemon, a Nerf gun, and some Okay. Wow. I should have said, if I gave you a hundred dollars, what would you do? A <laughs> million dollars, you could buy a house. Or a boat. Or a trip to Disneyland. Or... Legoland? Legoland. Yeah. What is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? Beyblade? They are in it. It's the Beyblade Arena. Is that right? Uh, my mom. A Beyblade. Can you open it? Yeah, we can. Beyblade. Yeah, so you the little spinny like tops. <laughs> oh, I'm so <laughs> sorry. Are you okay? Did you get bumped in the face? Bringing it. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we just act, it just barely finished right when you pulled up. Onward. Onward. Oh, really? How was your birthday, by the way? Oh, my. What? Candy. Huh? That Ola. is like the coolest present ever. He gets stuck. Too. Can we have some candy? From a dentist's son. Uh-oh. <laughs> you got some baseball? <laughs> no, 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 no. We're not. We'll, maybe tomorrow. No. Oh, oh you God. Jack, look what you got. Oh, that's going to be nice.
I don't know. <laughs> How are you guys but, doing? But I'm going to have another birthday. <laughs> yeah. Have He's going to have another one. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Two airplanes. A squishy ball. Oh, that's fun. Oh, it's filled with Orbeez. Yeah, let's turn green down. Uh, we watched it onward. Let's escape. If you lose the plastic, I want to have one of all of these candies. I yeah. want these no, candies. But, um, yeah. Um, he wants to Oh, I remember, um, we went to the dog park because I got a baseball. Whoa. Mitt and so, um, two baseballs. And, and I, got got two, I got Beyblades and That's two watches. Oh, you're going? Mm hmm All right. In my professor voice. Okay. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> oh, Jack, what do I love about this kid? Uh, there's a lot. I love that um, he was our first. Um, he brought in the world, the saying of dad to me. Um, that kid has been a delight. Um I don't know if I'm talking to him or to someone else, but I love that <laughs> Jack has always been there and always wants to spend time with me. It's it's a wonderful thing to be able to have um, you, Jack, uh, come and say, Dad, I want to go play baseball, or um, Dad, I can we just hang out, or Dad, I want to play Pokemon. These are silly little things, but they're important because they're important to you. Um, and they're important to me because of that. And uh, so they're not silly. They're enjoyable. I enjoy that I get to connect with you. Um, you have a strong heart, son. Uh, you're a wonderful little being that uh, allows, I, but I believe, the healing of Christ uh, to know that people care. You've always been that person um, who has reached out to that person. And it's a great gift. It's a gift that I wish I had more of. Uh, so I appreciate you being in my life to be an example of that. Um, I enjoy your enthusiasm about things. I love that you'll come and find me and, and show me a cool rock that you've found and, um, you know, the adventures that you've had throughout the day. I enjoy your enthusiasm about reading um, and that you enjoy spending time learning about things. You know a lot of things I don't know <laughs> because of your reading, and it's amazing to learn that uh, along next to you. Um, one thing that I love about your personality is, is where you say, oh yeah, yeah, dad, I know that. <laughs> you, you are an intelligent being, and I love that. So thank you for being part of our live, uh, lives and uh, for everything you do in our family. You're someone that I can count on. Uh, to help out in things that I can't do myself sometimes when I'm trying to take care of everyone. Um, you're someone that I can rely on for that. So thank you, buddy. I hope you had a special day. Um, we sure love you and enjoy the rest of your upcoming eight year. Um, and uh, we look forward to your baptism when you decide to do, to do that. And uh, thanks for allowing us to be a part of that as well. Hey, Jack. Happy eighth birthday crazy that eight years ago you were born it's been a fun eight years and a lot of the time when I think about my kids growing up there's a part of me that's sad but with you I really enjoy watching you grow and learn and develop and become you you're an old soul just like me and even though you're turning eight today it's like you're turning 28 sometimes just because you have a deep understanding of things and you're very intellectual and you like to connect with people on a deeper level. It's pretty remarkable actually to watch that in you. And you are such a good helper and there's so much about you that I really enjoy and love and like. And you're a hard worker and you have such a good heart. And I love that you have a good understanding of right and wrong. I feel that if you listen to your heart and keep following that, you really won't go too wrong in this life. You'll make mistakes, but I think that that internal part of you is really strong and that you have a really good moral compass within you. And I hope that you can continue to develop that. But thanks for being such a good boy. Good boy, Jack, as grandpa calls you. You are a good boy and you're a good helper and I love you to pieces and I'm so grateful.